Doodle bud. Today we got the Diplomat Arrow. Nice pen. Love the look of it. Kind of that, that Zeppelin look as they all talk about with the dimples along here. They're elongated along the body. Um, different finishes. This they're all it's at all um, except for the steel one. Um, they're all aluminum bodies, so there's a wide wide range of uh, finishes. They're all anodized, which is nice because anodized is fairly hard, so it gets to keep the finish nice and shiny and you know fairly resilient for a good length of time. Slip cap, nice little pop when you put it on. You know, just a good fit. You know when it's closed. So in here, I don't know if you can see it. Oh, you can sort of see it there, but there's three of those. So it's like a bit of a spring action, one, two, three, that just, you know, grabs the cap on there nicely and that little click. It's just an aluminum touch and aluminum. So you know, just attention to details like that on a pen like this, you really can appreciate it, what it takes to get things made just right. So I'm very happy with the build quality. Um, you know, a little bit of a sharper edge there, but this is thin material. So, um, but yeah, no burrs, nice feel in the hand. This is a cartridge converter. Um, even though this edge is a bit sharper, it grabs onto this body so you don't feel it. Uh, it comes with the Diplomat uh, converter. This slips in and out. Sometimes they thread. This one just pops in and out. So yeah, you're all used to that. No big deal there. But nice nib. I like the looks of it. It's an attractive looking nib. Nice logo. If you get some ink that gets onto there, accentuates it. This one's an extra fine as it shows. And uh, you know, I don't put mine in shirts that much, but if you do, it's a fairly stiff clip. Um, but it's good, and it posts nicely as well. So anyways, that's the Diplomat Arrow. Let's give you a quick writing sample. Um, today we're going to use the Monteverde Brown uh, Sugar. And sometimes, this is just a sidebar, if you want to see more of this, Leave a comment and I'll do a quick video, but this is, you know, I have a little ink cyclopedia. So just samples of all my inks. So sometimes maybe you want to put a certain ink inside of a pen and you're not sure what ink to do. It's just a good idea to have one handy. That just anytime you get a new ink, just make a quick writing note about it so you can reference that later to see what would go well. So I use this to uh, decide I think brown sugar would look decent with this pen. But if you want a little more information on my book or how to start one or what to do, um, feel free to leave a comment and I'll try my best to do that. And well, there's some nice crud that went on that page, but whatever. So we got the uh, brown sugar going into the Diplomat arrow in the brown finish. That's good enough for what we got to do here. So one little thing with the anodize on the section. I'll zoom in on my hand, not the pen. Um, it's almost sort of like a satin finish, so sometimes the ink will actually get in there a little bit. Let's wipe it off and see how it looks. That's not too bad. Most of it came off. Um, but on some pens, uh, when you dip them in the bottle and you fill them up, the section will sort of hold a lot of ink just depending on the finish here but this one isn't too bad I thought it, I, for some reason I thought with this pen it stuck in there more but it's actually pretty decent but the uh, the section is a little bit slippery this feels a little more textured the the main body the cap and the body of the pen feel a little more textured that is one little gripe with it is it is pretty slick you know if your hands are a little bit sweaty or greasy from lunch or just whatever just in general it's a little bit slicker than I'd like, especially for a full metal body pen that is, you know, kind of heavy. It's not that heavy, but it is a bit heavy. I just like if they had the same feeling, the same texture on the section as they do on the rest of the body. But anyways, we'll do this real quick. Diplomat. Arrow. And this is the... Oh, notebook's hitting the tripod there. This is the extra fine. The 
ink is Monte Verde brown sugar. So again, this is, I mean, it's extra fine. There's no real action on this nib. You know, I don't know if you can get line variation or just a touch more ink going through, but you don't buy an extra fine to have line variation or something fancy. You get it because you want some printing or writing and you're going to write in small spaces or you don't want a super gusher of a pen or something like that. But, um, it writes super nice. Like for an extra fine, it's reasonably smooth. It lays down ink, doesn't skip. Um, it does a really good job at first and foremost being a pen. So I enjoy this pen, um, especially when I'm doing documents with my work. Um, it requires a lot of documents to be filled in a lot of times on kind of carbon backed paper. So it's not the best paper. It's quite thin. So a lot of times I need pens that are a fine point and don't lay down excess amounts of ink so they can transfer it through to multiple copies and not, uh, really feather on, on cheap paper. So, um, and this is a great pen for that. It's professional looking, but it's got some nice flair to it. You know, so those slip pop caps are great for having to pop things open real quick and writing a note. You can go right back at it again. So that's, you know, one of the reasons I like this one here for business or stuff like that when I'm doing notes or filling out client uh, paperwork and things. Anyhow, I think I'm rambling now. Diplomat Arrow, it's a good pen. I'm happy I got it. I enjoy it. This is the extra fine. Get whatever nib suits you. There you go. Have a good one.